Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I'm finally getting to sit down and do this kidding up of the Bluebird song. Hang on here. I'm going to bring you up just a little bit. Sorry for the movement. Yeah. Finally getting around to kidding this up. I planned on doing this video earlier today, but somehow I found myself laying down taking a nap after recording and putting up the unboxing of this video and after getting woke up after taking the nap and getting woke up um, life happened I had to get dinner for my son and my husband um, he's on a, a new shift right now, so it's trying to get, um, used to this new shift. Um, he is, my husband builds elevators. He builds them and installs them. And a job that they're currently working on, it's a big job, he installed the elevator, built it and installed it, and now it hasn't been turned over to manual operation because the building that it's going in is still being built. The job's not completed. So um, they have to have somebody that runs the elevator, that actually operates it manually, or I mean, with a button, for all the other trades on the job. So that's what he's doing right now. He is just sitting in the elevator, pressing a button 12 hours a day, Sunday through Thursday and 10 hours on Saturday. So Sunday through Thursday, he works 12 midnight to noon and Saturdays he works from five to three. So we're trying to figure out, this is the first week of this. So we're trying to figure out, um, while I'm talking, I should start kidding this up. What is going to work best for dinner and, um, you know, how to, to plan dinner as far as what time we're going to eat. And, um, you know, we're going to eat, me and my son are obviously going to be eating different times than my husband because he gets home around one and I'll make him something to eat then. And then he lays down somewhere between 2.30 and 3 um, to get some sleep. And then he's waking up at between 9 and 9.30 to start again. So yeah, my son and I are eating at five between five and six and my husband's eating at nine, nine thirty, closer to nine thirty. Excuse me, I needed a sip. And um, then he leaves here at about eleven thirty. So our schedule is just all over the place and then and, you know, that's Sunday through Thursday, but then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm babysitting. So I'm not even getting home till 7, 38 o'clock. So, yeah, art. We have absolutely no schedule right now at all. So my sleep's not good when my husband's not home. I don't sleep well. I, I don't sleep well really for the most part anyway, but it's, I sleep even less well when he's, when it's just me and my son here. So anyway, I took the nap, woke up, did everything I needed to do, went to the grocery store, picked a few things up. Um, and then Woke my husband up, got him taken care of. He's just left a few minutes ago. 
my son's in bed. So I thought this would be the ideal time to go ahead and get this kitted up. And I um, want to talk to you about this, as I said in the earlier video, this is going to be a DP along. Um, well, not this particular picture I'm using for the DP along, but there is another YouTube creator. I will link her channel in the description box below. It is Mindy's Diamond Moment. She, along with Kiss My Crafts, which also will uh, list her channel in the description box, they are going to be having a Chuck along. Um, she will give more information about this. But there is a video. I'm not quite sure which video it is. Um, it's more one of her more recent videos where she had put a poll up for subscribers to pick which painting that she will be doing for the DP along. And if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be March 1st will be the start date and it's going to run five weeks. And there may or may not be a giveaway attached to it. So you, the only way to find that out is to go to her channel, subscribe, um, and hit the bell for the notifications. So you'll be able to um, follow her on this DP along and see what she has planned for the um, the DP along. So I want to go ahead and get this kit up so it's ready to go. Um, by then I will be finished with Seabreeze Sea Trails. Um, the check pins that I'm currently working on. If all goes well, I should be able to get that done by March 1st. So, getting this ready. Also, I did find a I find an app on um, the Google Play Store, and I will link that in the description box as well. A DP or a diamond painting logbook where you can put all the things the name of the painting, the website in which you purchased it or you found it or purchased it. Um, it also has the date you ordered it, the date you received it, whether you've started it or not. It has the size, the cost. Um, there's a spot where you'll be able to put notes on your experience with it. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really cool. I finally found one that's free. Not that I mind paying for something, but I've seen a lot of people that have paid for their apps and they didn't turn out to be worth the money that they spent on it. Plus, I would rather save my money for Except, you know, diamond painting accessories or for my canvases. So I'm, I'm not one to buy apps. I just, I don't care for paying for apps. But, um, so anyway, so I've got that. I went ahead and logged my information for this painting up to the point of, you know, that I had received it and all that. Um, put down a start date for March 1st, and then we'll see how long it is before I am putting the finish date. So got that taken care of for this one. And in time, I will get all of my paintings that I have, um, completed that I remember dates for. I mean, you know, when I first started doing painting, I didn't think that I would when I first thought about starting diamond painting, I should say, I didn't think that I would um, be where I'm at now. I've completed 
30 diamond paintings since I started diamond painting in February of last year. And I have several in my stash. So some of them I, I have dates on that I started them or completed them. But I do have all the dates of my purchases and receiving and stuff. I can go back through my emails from Diamond Art Club because I created a folder specifically for all of my Diamond Art Club emails from shipping dates, receiving dates, any issues that I had that I had communication with Diamond Art Club, I've saved those. So I'll be able to go back and eventually be able to get them all put in. I do have a diamond painting logbook that I purchased off of Amazon. I can add that link as well. That way I have something in my hand that if I need to, I can look for that there. Um, so yeah, I'm just, just trying to just get myself a little more organized than I have been. That's one of my goals for 2020 and yeah, I'm not, I haven't been doing so well with it. So I'm hoping that I can start finding some organization in my life. Um, let's see, what else did I want to talk about? Um, tomorrow I will be babysitting the 18 month old. Um, I have to take his dad to work again, just like I did last week and drop him off, but it'll be, I'll be dropping him off. I'll, it'll be like 1130 when I drop the father off at work. So officially will be my start time with the baby and his mom only works until five tomorrow. So it'll be a short, short day for me, which I'm grateful for because then I have some time to do some things around here that I want to do. Um, I do want to try and get a whip and chat in tomorrow, which will be after, um, it'll be after he's gone home or after I've left there. I don't know where I'm going to watch him at tomorrow. I haven't decided that yet, but, um, I'm going to get some diamond painting done. And I also am thinking about after tomorrow, just taking a, um, an evening break from diamond painting. Usually I diamond paint. That's, that's, I, I love to read. I've been trying to crochet and I just, I can't get my mind on my project. And I think it's just, I, I don't know what it is. I'm not even going to try and figure out why I can't get into that project. Um, cause I love to crochet. I love to crochet almost as much as I love to diamond paint, but, um, I've just haven't been able to stay focused on that, but I do want to, I have some books that I heard through, I heard about through Stitcherista. Um, she's killing it with reading. Oh my God, is she killing it? She's like, this is like the 12th book I think that she's read already this year and with her schedule of work the way that it is and then you know she's a mad stitcher I mean the woman can stitch and then she does her coloring and her diamond painting she's still found time to read 12 books this year and these are not thin books these are pretty thick books whether she's reading it off of her tablet um through um Amazon Prime, or whether she's actually got the physical book she has been reading. And there's a lot of things. I mean, I Mrs. Coffee and Stitcherista were the very first two um, YouTubers that I watched for diamond painting. And I actually should say Stitcherista was the first one I learned about Mrs. Coffee through Stitcherista. So, um, watching her videos, Citrista's videos, come to find that we have a lot of 
common interests. Um, I've always been interested in learning how to um, stitch, cross stitch. I, I can't get it. I have tried and tried and tried and I just, my stitches look sloppy. Um, trying to find that spot, the right starting spot, I, I mess up all the time. So I just kind of haven't, I have a few pattern or cross stitch patterns. Some are stamped cross stitch, some aren't, but for me, it's just more frustrating, um, trying to figure out how to do it. So it's been put off to the side for now. I'll pick it. I'll try to pick it back up again at some other date, but, um, I love to read in, oh, I think I mentioned this in one of my videos before. I think it was 2009, 2000, it was 2008, I'm pretty sure. I had put my crochet away for a while. I had been crocheting nonstop for about six years. And I just needed something else to do. And I started reading um, the Twilight series. That was the first first series that I had read in my journey of reading. And then it just went from there to um, the Vi Vampire Academy, Vampire Diaries. I mean, it was I like the vampire. I like the witch, witches and vampires, paranormal type things as well as thrillers and um, crime, you know, the crime dramas. But then I went on to get in some um, book groups on Facebook where there were some indie authors that I started um, reading and reviewing for the indie authors. I would, some books that I purchased, some I got for free in lieu of an honest video. So I read quite heavily for about mm, six years. That was another, no, not quite six years. Started reading 2008. Yeah, so it was about six years. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it had been that long. But, um, I still was crocheting a little bit, but not as much. It was more crochet was a winter project um, by by daytime, and um, then I would read at night. Well, in the first year of reading, I read about four hundred books in that first year, and then I just started gradually weaning off of the heavy reading. I'm sorry, I cannot find my color that I'm looking for. But um, anyway, so I took a little bit of a break from reading um, over the past few years because I picked up back up on the um, crocheting and then of course the past year it's been all about diamond painting. But well, I'm listening to her videos here on YouTube and seeing what she's posting on her Instagram triggered um, the interest in reading again. So I've gotten some books and I just need to focus on actually reading them. I think maybe part of my fear that I haven't is that once I start reading again, I'm afraid that um, it will consume me. And then I won't have time for my diamond painting. But there are several books that um, I'm looking forward to reading. And that might be a video that I do. That You know, a list of books that I have read. And a list of books that I want to read. So that, that could be a future video. Um, most likely will happen probably sooner than later and maybe some book recommendations once I get to start reading so there's that um, 
Of course, I've got several unboxings that are going to be coming up. I just had an amazing experience with Diamond Art Club today. Um, there's been a painting that I have been waiting for and looking for and waiting for and looking for. And it's never available when I have the money. And then when I don't, um, it's there. Well, I have, well, I will have it. Um, I got it today. Uh, well, I, or it, it was shipped out to me today. I probably will have it um, by the weekend, if not the beginning of next week. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I also wanted to touch base with you all about, no, it's not touching base actually. Let me rephrase that. Um, there was a diamond painting company that I heard of when I first started um, diamond painting and it was not doing well. There was a lot of people that swore by them, that just loved them. They were ambassadors for this company. So of course, you know, even when they were, the paintings were bad, you still had all these people ranting over it because they were getting free paintings. And of course, if you did a bad review on it, uh, as an ambassador, you were getting scrutinized by the other ambassadors as well as the company themselves. So that was a red flag for me right off the bat. I've seen a lot of the paintings and I know that I, I know that I made the comment in one of my last videos that I don't go by somebody else's opinion. That is now because I've seen good and bad coming from different, you know, places. This, this, my opinion that I am stating right now, or getting ready to state, that was based upon being a new diamond painter and not knowing anything and just seeing a lot of bad work and hearing a lot of bad things. I've learned since not to base it upon somebody else's opinion. But at that point in time, I was new and I was naive and it's been a learning curve. So I feel their shipping is higher than I want to pay for shipping. The length of time that it takes to get to me is longer than what I want to take to wait for something. And I'm not, I've seen the rendering of their paintings and I'm not thrilled with them. Um, but the company is uh, Dreamer Designs. And I'm really disappointed that they've gotten, they've just recently obtained some um, Chuck Pinson artwork, which will not last long. Um, Diamond Art Club actually posted something about it in Mrs. Coffee's um, Facebook group earlier today. So I felt relieved at that point. But I did go to the website, Dreamer Designs 2.0 website, and took a look at the Chuck Pinson artwork, as well as other artwork. But I was more concerned on the Chuck Pinson because I wanted to see what their theirs was going to look like opposed to Diamond Art Clubs. And I don't care for... Dreamer Designs is a surrendering of a lot of his paintings. Um, now, to be fair, I haven't really seen um, a lot of Chuck Pinson's paintings that have people in it. I mean, it usually has people, but it's you, it off at a distance, so you're not really seeing their faces. I don't know how he's going to, how it's going to be rendered from Diamond Art Club when they obtain those pictures and start doing them. But based on what I've seen with Dreamer Designs, I did not like the rendering of the faces. Um, I was not impressed at all. And I may be wrong. It may just look like that. I mean, this was a completed painting. This is, oh, excuse me. Um, 
it was put up on a video was posted or put up here on, on YouTube but uh, I think her name is Natasha I think I can't remember but she actually showed a completed one one that she had completed and yeah I wasn't I wasn't impressed with the with the rendering of the faces um, I had thought about at one point getting one of their paintings but I just I don't want to pay for something that I don't know what the outcome is going to be and feel comfortable that I'm going to have a hard time getting a refund if I'm not happy with it. And I've heard that there's been issues with that. So yeah, I, I'm just, unless somebody can tell me and guarantee me, I'm going to be happy with the painting. I'm going to stick to the two companies that I know are honest and trustworthy. If they say that they're going to guarantee it, that they actually do. They don't expect you to lie about a review or candy coat an issue. And those two companies that I stand beside are Diamond Art Club and Treasure Studios Arts. Or Treasure Arts, T-S-A. Treasure Studios Arts. Yeah, thank you. Um, I have not done a TSA yet. I have one that is coming to me. It's gotten held up due to the coronavirus. But there have been enough people that has done a TSA. These are people that I value their opinion on. And that would be Mrs. Coffee. Jeremy Fryrare from JTM Tea Crafts. Um, Sherry from Diamond Art Addiction. I think Rachel Ray may have done one. I'm not positive, but I think she's may have done it or she has it and she hasn't done it yet. But those are people that I know and I believe with a, I mean, I don't know them personally, personally, but I've been watching them and I believe that they will give an honest review. I have been in touch with Rachel for the past couple of months from TSA. She is genuine. She is as sweet as can be. And I feel comfortable doing a TSA. I've seen the beautiful work. So absolutely. Diamond Art Club and TSA are my top diamond painting companies that I will order from. Um, I've gotten some from Amazon. Some good, some bad. And I've gotten some from AliExpress. Again, some good, some bad. But I've had issues both with AliExpress and Amazon when there's been an issue. They don't want to honor what they say in their in their policy all the time or they want to try and say it's something that I've done. When I've miss, been missing diamonds and I've contacted these companies, they want me to pay for them, which I shouldn't have to replace diamonds, if, if, especially if they didn't come with the kit to begin with, that they, they're the specific DMC code number was not even there. They were missing completely. I shouldn't have to pay for them. They're supposed to come with the kit. So when I've had to, there's only been a few instances where I ran out of drills or my very first painting I actually got from Diamond Art Club, it was missing a complete series of numbers. I contacted them. They no problem. They asked me what painting it was. I took pictures just to verify that I did have that painting, that I wasn't trying to get thrills for another painting that didn't even that I hadn't even purchased from them. But they got them sent out to me right away. And I know TSA will be the same way. So as much as I would like to do a D and D, or I mean a, a not a D and D, a uh, Dreamer Designs, and check out the 2.0, I'm not going to spend the money to do it. That's just not going to happen. Um, just, 
I'm not comfortable with spending my money there when I know that I can go through Diamond Art Club to get a painting or TSA, especially a Chuck Benson painting. I'll be able to get all those from Diamond Art Club. And yeah, I won't be able to do a comparison, but I know what I'm going to get. That's the bottom line there. I know what I'm going to get from Diamond Art Club. And I know a lot of people don't like Diamond Art Club. That's everybody's opinion. We're all entitled to the opinion. I love Diamond Art Club. Um, a lot of people think they're too expensive. Well, I'd rather pay for quality and be happy with my results than to pay for, you know, get a cheap, be able to buy a bunch of small cheap ones and not even be able to make out. I'm seeing a lot of that on YouTube right now. I mean, on Facebook, a lot of people are posting these diamond paintings and it just looks like splattered paint art to me. Very pixelated. Can't make out what it is. And I, I don't want to do that. And I won't, I won't mention anybody's names. I won't mention the companies because I, I don't, I'm not trying to bash anybody. That's not what I'm about. Um, everybody does what they want to do and they're entitled to. They're allowed to do that. And it's not wrong for them to do that, but it's not wrong for me to choose not to. And everybody has a budget that they can afford what they can afford. I'm fortunate enough that I am able to afford Diamond Art Club or, you know, my mother, she's bought me, a, my mother's bought me several Diamond Art Club paintings because there's something she's wanted me to have. And at the time I didn't have the money. So I've been fortunate there, but I will never degrade an individual because they bought a cheaper painting because if that's all they could afford. Hey, that's, they have bills to pay just like everybody else and bills and feeding their family that, that comes first. So I will never criticize anybody for that ever, but you know, we're all individuals. We all have our own likes, and dislikes. So that's, that's where I'm at with that. Um, what else? What else do I want to talk about? I will be having some friend mail coming um, over the next week or so. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I will unbox that here when I receive it. Um, my chuck along that I'll be doing with Mindy and with, uh, Mindy's Diamond Moment and Kiss My Crafts that I will be doing um, whipping chats on. So that'll be posted. I'm still up in the air on if I'm going to do any more live videos since I've had so many problems. I have not even tried to go live since last Tuesday. That's why there was no live today. I thought about trying to do it at a different time of the night or maybe a different day of the week to see if it is a internet problem on my end of the daytime or if it's a YouTube issue like um, Rachel Race had that problem on Saturday she's not able to Saturday morning live she's not able to do anymore because she's having such problems so she's trying to come up with a new schedule for herself as well. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out a schedule for that. Or if I'm, like I said, if I'm going to do them at all, they might, it just might be a random live sometime. It might not even be on a schedule. I, just, I might be sitting here. I may not see anybody live. I may be able to have that time that it's quiet and it's just me around here that I could do a live. I might just do a random live. I don't know. But I'm so also, I know you guys are so blurred. I'm so sorry. I'm going to bring this up a little more. There we go. 
you can't even see me doing this. I just realized that. Um, oh, this is really bad. I didn't realize it was so bad. I should have been looking over more. 20 minutes in, or half hour into this and you haven't been seeing me do anything but talk. I have actually been filling these up. So anyway, I just lost my train of thought. Um, I've thought about, I don't know. I have to look into the rules of this. Um, I might ask Mrs. Coffee if she happens to know if it would be safe for me to do a diamond painting with my son. Um, he is 15, but this channel isn't intended for children. So, um, I, that might kind of cancel that out, but I thought it would be cool if I could for me and my son to do a diamond painting together. Um, so we'll see that that might be something that happens in the future as well. Um, what else? There's so many things that I've got in my head right now. Um, I'm also thinking about, I'm still working on, you know, ideas for the giveaway. I have made the decision that when I do the giveaway, I will not announce the giveaway until the, um, winner has been notified. So I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I just, I don't know. I don't know if there's how I could message somebody and let them know that they've won if I don't have their information. I know that, um, Rachel Ray has a form that she's had everybody fill out, but my channel is still so small that hopefully the people, if somebody who wins, I can have them um, message me on Facebook and they may have to, we may have to figure something out, but it, it's going to have to be, you're going to have to show me physical proof of who you are. Um, you can cover up your driver, you know, it will be a driver's license. You'll be able to cover up your driver's license number. I don't need to know that. I don't need to know your height, your weight, your driver's license number. I'm going to need your address anyway. So, you know, showing me your address and your name and your picture <coughs> on your driver's license will be what has to be showed in order for me to either ship the item your, your prize to you, or if I'm having another third party involved in this, say, whether it would be having Diamond Art Club ship it to you, or whether it's an Etsy store that i um, getting the item from, instead of me paying to have them ship it to me and then me paying to ship it to you, it might be just better for me to pay for it through Etsy and then just give them your address and ship it to you. But we're going to figure that out. But the winner will not be announced. I repeat, will not be announced on YouTube until the winner has been contacted directly for me to ensure that the winner is actually the right person. So that's, that's something that I want to make very clear. So there's no confusion. Nobody can say later on that, oh, I didn't know that that's how you were doing that. No, you know right now, and a lot of YouTubers are doing this now. We've listened to a few YouTubers that now are not doing giveaways at all. And they have amazing subscribers. But thanks to the what took place with Stitcherista, and also it happened with, I think it's, is it GB Maltese? It happened to Mrs. Coffee in the past. Yeah. This is where it needs to end. Is It shouldn't have happened to begin with. It should have never been an issue. But it needs to end now. Because it's costing too much money for YouTubers to be doing this. 
they pick winners because, and they do it in a random way. That way, nobody feels like that somebody's, you know, they prefer that YouTube or that subscriber to somebody else. So they try to make it as fair as they possibly can. And then we have, and yes, I'm going to say it. And if you are under the age of 18, this is time for you. You shouldn't have been on my channel to begin with. I forgot to get that disclaimer out there first thing, but this is a channel for adults. It's not intended for children. So please, if you are under 18 years old, this is the time that I say, thank you for stopping by, but please leave and don't come back. Um, it's time that the assholes stop being assholes here on YouTube. And if YouTube is wise, they're going to somehow try to track and monitor these things better than they are. Um, I don't even know if they can. So if they can't, I'm not saying it's YouTube's fault, but if there's a way that it can be done, it needs to be done. That YouTube is helping hold these people accountable for their actions. So I'm off my soapbox about that. Um, I'm just curious about in the comments. I'm curious what you guys like to watch on TV. I talked about this in my last in one of my videos before of the TV lineup that I have that I like to watch. New Amsterdam and The Resident and All Rise, Prodigal Son. Um, let's see, there was another one. I can't think of what it is now. Also like to watch Riverdale, which I didn't think I would get it would want to watch that because it is, you know, for young young adults, for teenagers and young adults, but I actually really enjoy watching Riverdale. Um, so I'm curious, what, what are your favorite TV shows that are currently still being aired? And also what is one of your, what are your favorite TV shows that they have taken off the air? And it doesn't matter when, it, when it was, it could be, I could say one of my favorite TV shows that had been taken off the air was NYPD Blue. I was heartbroken when they canceled that. I know it's been a long time ago, but I really, really enjoyed watching NYPD Blue. So, yeah. What what shows have you, were, were you heartbroken over when it went off the air? And what shows do you currently watch? I'm always trying to find something new to watch on Netflix, so... If it's no longer um, on TV and it's on Netflix, it might give me something to watch. It's not so much watching, I should actually say. It's more listening. I go to sleep every night listening to something on whether it be Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, uh, Amazon Prime. I just put my AirPods in and turn my tablet on and then just lay there falling asleep listening to that. Um, I don't even have my tablet in front of me to where I could watch, you know, be tempted to watch it. It's actually, I have a sleeper case that I can actually close it and it's still, it, it, it's not a sleeper case. I can close the cover of, on the tablet and it will, um, still stay lit up to where I can watch it or I mean, listen to it. So, sorry about that. I had to walk away for a second and turn the heat down. It got too hot. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you like to watch because I'm, I'm trying to find some different things. I've been through so many series in my sleep that I keep starting them over and trying to watch them when I'm awake. <laughs> it never happens, so. Um, let's see what else. And if you want to, I'm always looking for a new book. So if there's a book, if you like to read and there's a book that you've read um, that is in the genre that I 
read. I'm not for, I'm not much for romance. I'm okay if there's some romance in it, but if it is just a romance book, period, I'm not into the Harlequin fantasy romance type things. Um, I like, I like more of, like I said, crime and thriller. I don't, I don't want anything like, you know, Stephen King's It or Pet Cemetery. Those freak me out. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. I love Stephen King, but um, Pet Cemetery and It, I cannot see the movies, nor can I read the book. Um, same thing goes with like um, Amityville Horror. No, couldn't do it. Could not do it. I, I have a story about that one day. I'll tell you. We'll talk about that um, when we talk. Actually, are talking about books. Um, this is about when I was a child. Uh, something that happened concerning a Stephen King book. So, anyway, um, so yeah, favorite movies or favorite uh, TV series show, TV show that is currently being aired and that is no longer on the air and books that you're either reading right now or a book that you have read leave that in the description or in the comments below I just downloaded a book let me see here I'll find my um, my Kindle app here so I, I download like three three or four books today um, right now, Stitcherista is reading The Other Wife. That's the one that I just got today. Well, one of them that I just got today. And I also, goodness sakes, I can't get to my, um, I can't get to my Kindle there. No, nope, that's not letting me get to my Kindle from here. Yeah. It tells me it's just showing the book that I just got. Oh, there we go. So I just got, I have The Other Wife by, um, what's her name? Clara McGowan. That's the one that I just, one of them that I got today. I also... Got When I Was You by Minka Kelly, I think it is. No, not Minka Kelly. No, Minka Kelly is an actress. Minka Kent, excuse me. So that one. I have Disturbed. This is a Jennifer Jane's book. I also got a four book series of Rachel Kane. So that is, these are all on Kindle Unlimited on Amazon. So I have, I'm going to, I think what I might go ahead and do is do a Goodreads book list and go ahead and put those in there of um, the books that I plan on reading this year. I did set myself a goal to read an X amount of books. I don't even remember what it is because it's been so long ago. So, well, it hasn't been that long ago. It's been this year that I posted it, but I have not um, had a chance to sit down and actually read. But um, I had set a goal to read um, I think I had like 40 books 30 books something like that but I'm gonna get my Goodreads thing and I'll get it all um, set up and I can talk to you about that on the next video that I do so anyway back to this I'm very anxious to work on this time in art club um, Bluebird, the Bluebird song, as well as I'm anxious to finish my Seabreeze Trails. I'm so close to being done with that, considering how long it's taken me to do it. I mean, it hasn't been very long. I started on it 
I said at the end of last year I had about 20 drills down and then I put it away because I did it when we were I actually think I had taken it to Arizona with us in November when we went to, for Thanksgiving to see my father-in-law and it was just difficult diamond painting there because being set up where trying to be in a place where I had enough room to work on the project but then have um, a place for my light pad it, it was just too difficult so I didn't I just put it away and then when I came home I was working on a large project that I couldn't bring with me even if I would have had room it would have been too difficult and that was my Brooklyn Bridge at night no it wasn't my Brooklyn Bridge at night that was already done what was I working on it was a big one, but I can't remember what it was. <clears throat> um, oh, it was um, off to Neverland. Diamond Art Clothes, off to Neverland. I, that was too big to take, so. Um, but when I picked this back up, the Sea Breeze Trails, when I picked that up on February 8th, I have worked on that and only that since. Um, I have one more painting that I need to finish that is from stash, uh, from last year, part of my slash the stash that I had actually started. Um, it's going to be a while for that one though. I mean, that one has to really stay on the back burner because it is square. I've done a lot of square paintings as of lately. So I'm glad to be doing a round painting. And then also I will be getting my TSA. So that I will be doing a collab with Ash Inc. 93 and Diamond Painting with Diamond Dave, they're going to work on that together. So we'll be doing videos and, and stuff and I'll be working on that and it's going to be a large piece. Um, it's a very large piece. So I have a lot of stuff that I want to go ahead and get done. I also want to work on seasonal paintings of, that deal with that particular time of the season. So I need to go through my stash and find out, you know, pull out those paintings and if they need get it up, get them, get it up. I need to get some more storage because I am running out of storage. So I need to get some more Harbor Freight. Those seem to be my favorite um, storage containers at all. of all. I do like some of the Jewel containers, those pla clear plastic round containers that you can get from Walmart or Diamond Art Club has theirs. I They're okay. I mean, they're actually pretty good and I love the Craftsmates, but I cannot, <laughs> I cannot buy any more Craftsmates. They are, they're hard to find at Michael's and they're expen more expensive. I'm not real fond of the Tic Tac containers. I have some, but you can't get a lot in there. There's that one that has the tray and all that. I'd like to get that, but that's a bit out of my price range. And I do have the little um, cylinder bottles that come in the the little zip zipper thing. I have one of those. I'd like to get one more. I have the 60, but I'd like to get the, is it 72? So I'm going to save up the money to be able to try and get that. Um, I'm still looking for suggestions from y'all on what you would like to see on the channel. I don't, I have not gotten a suggestion yet. So I'm still basing everything that I'm doing um, on what I want to do or what I can think of to do. So, you know, I'm... I'm working on this. I'm trying. Um, so if there's something that you'd like me to talk about, um, just leave it down in the uh, comments below. And I'm pretty quick to respond to comments. I'm not getting a lot, so it makes it easier to be able to respond. And if you don't want to comment below, send me an email. My email will be in the description box, so you can shoot me an email, or if you're on Facebook, 
you can send me a message on Facebook or send me a message on Instagram. I'll be glad to, you know, answer any questions or anything that you might have. Um, or if it's something that I'm able to do uh, to talk about on the channel or show on the channel, just, you know, let me know. And if I can do it, I will do it. I will let you know if I can't do it and why I can't do it. But I'm open, you know, to, you know, discuss it with you. you know. <clears throat> oh, as much as I like getting up, I'm just not able to focus tonight on it. I kit down today. I had to kit down my um, forever in my heart. Then I did for my uncle. And then I have to kit down the um, Ice Princess. I think that's what it is. Ice Princess from Diamond Art Club, the Hannah Lynn. That one has to be kit down because I need storage for that. As well as I think I have one more that I still have to kit down. I have two or three that I still have to get down. So when you have that many, as much as you might like doing it, <laughs> once you have that many to do, it just kind of seems like too much. You just don't even want to do it. And that's kind of where I am right now. <clears throat> but if I don't do it, they're not going to get done. And I save my drills. These are all Diamond Art Club paintings that need to be get down. And I save all of my Diamond Art Club drills. I put them in baggies, which I think I have them nearby that I could show you. Hang on one second here. Yep, it's right here. I have them in a tin right now just because that's all I have at the moment. But I plan on going to Hobby Lobby and getting the portrait boxes, the pretty portrait boxes. Um, and I'll be doing a different way of, than what I currently have, but I'm just using my moon pie tin. I had to get one of these for their hundredth anniversary. Well, I got several of these and my son ate the moon pies. Okay. I ate a few, <clears throat> but my son ate most of them and the tins are perfect for what I need it for. So right here I have my, well, I actually have my, um, ABs that I ordered through Star Roar. So I've got those in here. So these are different, but I, what I currently do at the moment, like I said, this isn't going to last long, but I have, I take a bag, a Ziploc bag, and I put the name of the painting on it. This is what I was doing. That's why it's going to be changing. I put what it was. So I cut this off the box. This was my Often Neverland. And I don't have to get that one done. That one's already been put it down. And then I had put my information. I had a card. I didn't finish it. So that's why I need to go get the do the um, online thing. But I just go ahead and put on here the DMC number on the bagging. And then I put it in here. Now, I made sure I put DAC on this so I know that it's DAC. But since I've kind of changed it a little bit, now I'm, which is what I did tonight, I put on here that it is a Diamond Art Club. I put that it is a square. You can't see that. I'm sorry. It's a square. And then the DMC code on it. And I just put it in here for now and if I happen to run out of drills and I need them, they're right here. And I know that they're Diamond Art Club drills so I will not mix a Diamond Art Club drill with another painting. With another brand I should say. Um, I also have this allows me to have drills that in the event that somebody runs out of drills they I can, you know, send them to them if they need them. Um, any of the other drills that I will have, if 
from Amazon, you know, anything that's from Amazon or from AliExpress or Diamond Dots or such, because I did order, I, I did do some Diamond Dots when I first started diamond painting. Um, <clears throat> those I just throw in a mason jar. I just dump them in a mason jar. So I've got all different colors in the mason jar. Um, I'm doing one that's just squares. So I have a mason jar of squares and then I have a mason jar of rounds. And I'm just filling them up when it gets full. Since they're such pretty colors, I just set them out. Or maybe I'll throw them away. Or maybe I'll use them for some kind of other art project. I don't know. I haven't thought about it that far ahead yet. I haven't filled one. <clears throat> so when I fill one, then I'll be able to decide what I'm going to do from there. So what have you all been doing tonight? Is there... Are you diamond painting? Are you cross stitching? Are you coloring, crocheting, knitting? Did you just relax and do nothing? Did you read a book, watch a movie? Or did you have to work? And we all, most of us have families, so I'm sure you had to devote a lot of time to your family, make sure that they're taken care of. Um, my son spends so much time in his room playing his video games or um, watching TV. I mean, we spend time together. We do. But he's always been, he's always been really more to himself. He's a kind of a loner. Um, and I don't know if he would have been like that without autism or if it's the autism that, that causes him. Kind of mean. But I mean, we spend time together. We hang out. We go places and stuff together. When, like, and the places we go, <laughs> I say we go places together, we go to the grocery store. Um, I take him to and from his classes on Mondays and Wednesdays. And in this case, this week, he's going to do Wednesday and Thursday because he did not go to school yesterday. He was not feeling well. So I kept him home. So he has to make up his day on Thursday. Um, you know, there's in the evening when my husband was working his regular day shift and he would go to bed, my son would come downstairs and we'd sit and watch <clears throat> TV together. He loves ghost adventures. And then we also both like to watch classic TV, like, you know, Andy Griffith show. Uh, we love to watch Mama's Family, The Golden Girls. Um, everybody loves Raymond, Home Improvement. <clears throat> I like to watch Last Man Standing. So we'd sit and watch those things together and binge eat junk food. And then now I am um, regretting. <laughs> um, I'm not able to do it so much now with the braces. Eating is not my friend. I now eat when I just can't take it anymore. I hate brushing my teeth six and eight times a day. Every time I put something in my mouth, I've got to go brush my teeth. So I am not being able to eat very healthy because it's hard to eat. Yeah. But we spend time together. Not as, not as much as we did when he was younger, but then, you know, he's a teenager and he is a boy and our interests are different. Um, that's why I kind of like to do a diamond painting with him because I bought him diamond paintings and he didn't do them. So I'm just trying to spark interest in him in something other than video games. He does not like to read, so I've bought enough books that have sat on his bookshelf that he hasn't read, so I'm not going to buy any more books. I'll wait until this closer to the end of this school year, which will be here before I know it. And I will have to fight with him because he has to read Romeo and Juliet. Do I feel sorry for him? Yeah, absolutely. Am I glad that he has to read something? Absolutely. <laughs> but why does that have to be Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> it's hard enough getting him to read when I want him to read something that he's interested in. I do not know. And for him to understand what Romeo and Juliet's about the the terminology that he's 
he's going to struggle. He's going to struggle with something fierce. Um, because I constantly hear him saying when I say something that was popular, a term that was popular, or an analogy that was popular when I was his age, and I'll say, "Mom, they don't talk like that anymore." And then here he's going to have to read Romeo and Juliet which they don't talk like that anymore. They haven't talked like that in forever. And the thou's and thus and whereas and withs, yeah. He's, he's not going to be happy about having to read this. He already asked me if he could use um, YouTube notes. Yeah, that, that's a thing. Uh, the girl I'm babysitting for, she... Uh, as a history class and she will not read her um, history book she just goes on YouTube and listens to people who have already read the book and that there's a site where they post notes about said book or said topic of book yeah so now people aren't reading now the kids aren't reading the books before they wouldn't read they'd get the cliff notes but now it's even worse because they either, they listen to them now. Now I have nothing against audiobooks. I love Audible, but I think Audible is great when you're just, it's a story time book, you know, you're just listening to the story. But when you are reading some, when you're needing to read something to retain information, I think you need, to, I, I'm a person, I, I'm a very visual learner as well as auditory so for me to hold it in my hand I actually retain more of that information holding that book in my hand and reading it no matter how difficult of a book it is to have to read I do better be looking at the book reading the words because then those words kind of are burned into my brain but um now now everybody's listening to everything Nobody wants to actually read. And I would prefer to read a book actually in my hand. Hold the book in my hand. Flip the pages. Um, smell the ink. But more and more books are just... The book itself is actually sometimes more expensive than the Kindle version. So yeah, I'm not against reading off my Kindle. But... I would prefer to read the physical book. So every opportunity that I have to buy a paperback or a hardcover book, then I do. Um, so yeah, I'm almost done here. So I'm running out of things to talk about and I don't want to repeat myself. Um, Trying to come up with some ideas to make for dinner. I've been eating, again, repeating myself with the braces. It's difficult to eat. So I'm eating a lot of pasta, which I'm eating as much as I love pasta. I am, excuse me, I am getting tired of eating pasta. I am tired of eating mashed potatoes. I am tired of eating soup. I made salmon loaf. And rice aroni for my family the other night. That was something that was very easy to eat, and the family enjoyed it. Um, but I've got to come up with some more ideas of easy things that I can eat, and there won't be something that'll be too heavy on my husband to eat as soon as he wakes up and has to go to work, or that'll be too heavy on his stomach for him to eat when he comes home from work before he goes to bed. So trying to figure that out. I love my crock pot. So I try to, excuse me, I try to use my crock pot as much as I can for a lot of meals. But um, yeah, just trying to end. Crock pot makes it easier. I can just get up in the morning throw it all in the crock pot, set it on the counter, and 
just set myself an alarm every now, you know, for half every hour, every half hour, whatever, just to stir it. I don't have to worry about it burning. Um, I don't have one that I can set the timer on, but I have an air fryer. I have two actually, two air fryers actually. I have a pressure cooker. I'm afraid to use my pressure cooker. It's an electric pressure cooker, but I'm still afraid to use it. My mother-in-law bought it for me about nine years ago, ten years ago. And I'm ashamed to say that I've only used it like two or three times because I am absolutely petrified of my pressure cooker. But it is there, you know. If it if I need to, it I have it. Um, I'm not much for baking. I love to eat baked foods, but um, I'm not good at baking. Exactly. It just seems like I have. I've missed something here somewhere. I don't know what I've done. Hmm. Thirty-eight sixty. Did I not? Alright, thirty-eight sixty is forty-eight. I have more drills than I have containers. And I'm not sure why. I'm gonna have to go back and look at this when I'm finished. Forty-eight. Oh that's what I did. Forty-two. I missed forty-two. 42, please don't tell me that I put it in a wrong container. And it looks like I did. 42 is what? Oh no, 42 is 3371. I didn't. I'll go through here. It looks like I may have skipped some containers. But, um, so yeah, if you have any ideas, of simple soft foods that aren't going to be real chewy and you know, no, I cannot eat anything crispy or crunchy. I cannot eat anything real chewy, so I'm limited there. Um, I can do things like chicken breast as long as they're very tender. Um, where is 3860? Uh, all right, wait a minute. 3860, you're supposed to be in here. Um, I can't do anything spicy. I have a stomach that does not agree with it. I've been doing a lot of Mexican food without, you know, like when I say Mexican food, I mean, I'm like, I'm frying up ground beef and making taco meat and putting it in a bowl with cheese <laughs> and sour cream, guacamole, eating it, you know, that way. Because tortillas, even though I can eat soft tortillas, they get packed in brackets and wire and it's uncomfortable. And I risk, if it packs in too much, I risk um, breaking a bracket loose or breaking a wire. And I don't want to do that, so I'm really avoiding. I'm avoiding all the foods that they say to avoid, and a lot of people say I don't need to do that. I could eat it, but I don't want to risk breaking any of this off and having to pay fifty dollars per bracket and a hundred dollars per wire to replace them, due to me not listening to what my orthodontist said. So I'm trying to be very careful of what I eat. Um, if you have any ideas, I would like to hear them. Um, so, just about done here. Still seems like something is off on this. I thought I was paying close attention, but apparently I wasn't. So, I might have myself a little be in a pickle here trying to figure out what's what. 
All right, so there's that. 436. What is 436? Is 20. And according to this, oh, I didn't. I don't think I've mixed up any or put them in the wrong things. I just think I've mixed, missed some containers when I was putting them in. So I'm going to go ahead and get this wrapped up. I will have all the links for the channels that I have mentioned, um, which would be Mindy's Diamond Moments and Kiss My Crafts. I will link them in the description box. Um, you will be able to hear information um, about the Chuck Along from there, from, the, from Mindy's Diamond Moments as well as Kiss My Crafts discusses it on her channel because they will be doing this together. Um, I will link Stitcherista's channel to this because she does go ahead and talk about um, different books that she's read. And if you're a cross-stitcher, you can get tons of cross-stitching from her. Um, I will link the... Um, App where I got the diamond painting log app from Google Play or the Play Store. I will have like that in there. I will link the diamond paint, uh, diamond art club link in here as well. There'll be a bunch of links that you'll be able to look through. My email, my Instagram, and my Facebook page will also be in the description box. So if you would like to reach out to me. I would be glad to hear from you. And go ahead and share share this share my channel. It gets out to people that don't know that I have a channel. Hit the subscription or subscribe and hit the little bell that'll notify you as all these new videos and DP alongs and uh, whipping chats will be taking place talking about. Like I said before, books or movies, TV shows, whatever random thing that I decide to make a video on, you'll be notified when that happens. And um, I said, as things start to progress a little more, we'll be able to figure out what I'm going to do with the giveaway. But two things, I'm going to repeat this, giveaway will not be in the title of that video. So if you want to know about the giveaway, you need to watch my videos to find out. I am not going to put a target on my back by putting out there that it's a giveaway because then that's when the problems will start to arise. So remember, giveaway will not be in the title. And once the giveaway is complete and winner is picked, the winner will be picked and announced before the video of the picking and announcing will be posted. I will take a video of me announcing or picking the winner and then I will have a video of me announcing to the person that won. I will post those so you know that I am being up and up and I am not just picking somebody because I know them personally or I have a personal attachment to them. No, it will be done And then it'll be recorded, contacted, and then posted. So if you want to be a part of the giveaway, then you got to start watching my videos. I could throw out clues um, during those videos. And if you don't watch the video, then you won't know what the clue is. So at the end, when I actually do the giveaway, you may not know what to do. So I hope you all have a wonderful night. It is five till one in the morning for me. So I need to get this all wrapped up, cleaned up, put away. Because I do have to get up in the morning, take my son to school and babysit. So I look forward to chatting with you all again later this week, possibly even tomorrow evening if I get a chance to do the whip and chat. I will do that. If not, it will be on Thursday. So until then, y'all have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you soon. See you guys. Take care.